Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for inviting me uh, to present the Rotary Peace Fellowship and to introduce myself and to present what I do and what my future plans are. Um, I understand that some of the details that are already in my presentation for, for this afternoon have already been explained, so I will avoid repetition um, and just skim through some of the um, uh, some of my slides, and I will focus more on on uh, the contents of, of my fellowship. Um, so, as you have already heard, uh, the Rotary Peace Fellowship is a global program. Um, it is implemented through Rotary Peace Centers in uh, different educational institutions around the world. Um, five of them offer a master's degree program and two of them offer a professional certification program. They're located in different parts of the world. I am currently at the Uppsala University as uh, said in the introduction of the Department of Peace and Conflict Research. Uh, all of the programs are focused on, uh, on the same overarching theme um supported by which is all funded and supported by rotary of course i are rotary fellowships and that's the uh intersect that, that that is the study of peace and conflict in different ways and forms so uh the department of peace and conflict research there are currently 10 of us as seniors or in our second year of studies um and at the university, we have been studying very intensively about different dynamics of both peace and conflict. We've been studying uh, how to do different statistical modeling uh, and how to use different different tools and systems to create different different statistical models and forecasts and so on. Um, the current areas of research and work at the university are um, quite uh, diverse uh, and they include uh, subjects, very broad subject areas such as peacekeeping, um, violence against civilians, gender and conflict, strategic nonviolence, and so on. There are several very prominent programs, very prominent projects that are famous around the world such as the Uppsala um, Conflict Database Program and the Views Program um, and so on. Uh, a lot of these programs, the data, the data and everything is publicly available, available for researchers and students and the general public to use and to investigate. So these are all very useful tools and, and information that the department is offering. And I'm very, um, I, I understand that I'm very uh, privileged to be part of it as a master's student. Um, so at the fellowship program, we will soon be uh, partaking in a very intense journey of completing our research and our thesis. Uh, and we will be at the end of it, at the end of our two year journey, but hopefully in June next year, 2022, we will be obtaining our degree in uh, Master of Social Sciences within the Peace and Conflict Studies program. We study also different skills that are that will be useful that are useful in the field such as conflict man management and mediation, uh, different forms of peace building and, and, and so on. So the fellowship program, the, the Rotary Peace Fellowship program, um, is very very intense, um, and and it's very um, uh, very uh, research oriented and research focused. Um, so the biggest part of our journey is of course the academic training, the actual courses, uh, but also the applied field experience. I will I will uh, tell you a bit more about my own field experience from this summer uh, later in the presentation. Um, next, Rotary offers us plenty of opportunities to, to educate ourselves, to increase our, our knowledge and skill, but also to network and so on. Um, 
as a Peace Fellow, I, I entered into this program with uh, a bit of work experience. I've worked for almost a decade in, uh, at the United Nations Development Program in the Western Balkans. I have a master's degree uh, in disaster risk reduction management. Uh, I have a background in international relations, but also a background in engineering and security and security management. I am um, I, I came into this program with a particular interest to investigate whether or not would it, it would be possible to continue my my career path down the DRRM road and um, I used I actually used the opportunity of the applied field experience over the summer to conduct a small pilot research and to work with a non-governmental non organization in Nepal in Kathmandu um, uh, where I worked from June to uh, September. Uh, I worked with this organization called um, Center for Disaster Risk Management Studies and my, I was tasked with uh, trying to find ways and to investigate different ways how to incorporate and how to integrate conflict sensitivity approaches in disaster risk management um, um, uh, practices in, in rural areas in Nepal. And um, the product of my applied field experience was uh, is a paper that I'm still working on uh, with the organization. Um, it is called Understanding the Disaster Risk Management, Peace Building Nexus and Conflict Protected Communities in, in Nepal, bringing conflict sensitivity, disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptation together. So um, currently, uh, so I ended this uh, task. I ended this relationship with uh, CDMS in Nepal in uh, on uh, at the end of August, thirtieth uh, of August, and I started uh, another internship with an organization here in um, in Uppsala, um, uh, the Doug Hamashal Foundation, uh, and I will be continuing my uh, my path uh, in as of December. Uh, with UNDP uh, covering um, Europe and Central Asia specifically, I will be working and supporting the UND, UNDP team on, on the implementation of a disaster risk reduction and climate resilience program in the Fergana region in Central Asia. Um, so I will try to explain uh, what uh, my my kind of what I did so far uh, during the re during my fellow peace fellowship for you to understand uh, what big of an opportunity this was for me to um, to investigate what my strengths are in terms of research and future work since this was an opportunity for me to kind of go into a direction that was completely different for that, from what I was working on so far I have been working with UNDP on peace building and dialogue um, in, in the Western Balkans for over eight years. And uh, it was quite challenging for me to based on and with the help with the help of all the knowledge that I gained at the at the university for me to uh, for me to go into a completely different direction and to get an opportunity to work both in Nepal and in Central Asia. Um, so this specific research, what I did is kind of a pilot or rather a test um, for, for what I will be doing next semester uh, during my fellowship. Um, I will be, uh, hopefully, my idea is to study compounding risks uh, that connect conflict and security, socioeconomic risks, hazards uh, and disasters and governance. Uh, and I will try to think of different creative, innovative ways, and I will research that in terms of intersection of, uh, of, of, of post-conflict and post-disaster reconstruction uh, in, in post-conflict societies such as Nepal. Uh, and I will also investigate for both formal and informal methods of, of, of conflict resolution that are applied uh, in resource conflicts, which was also something that I did in Nepal. And I will also 
investigate and learn with UNDP more about adapting adaptive learning and deliberation approaches uh, in climate adaptation programs. Um, so this is quite a lot. I understand that uh, some, some of these things are maybe not uh, clear or un easily understandable for non-English speakers, uh, but um, I am open to any questions from you. Um, I would also like to stress that I am not a researcher, I am not an academic. I, I don't plan on doing, uh, being an academic and I plan on continuing my path as a, as a, as a practitioner uh, working in the field. Um, so research is something that is a part of what I do, but it is not the purpose in itself, as it is for academics and professors and individuals who do, who work, who do research and PhDs. Uh, I'm more of an individual who, 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 and I'm more interested in continuing my path with development agencies uh, on, on trying to find different practical ways to sol solve issues that are tangible and real uh, in communities. So um, I'm open to any questions and thank you for your time today. And thank you again for the opportunity to present the fellowship and what I do and what the Peace Fellows do every day here in Uppsala. Thank you. <laughs>